I have an elderly friend born in 1943 who was one of nine boys. Is it a coincidence when a mother bears all sons or all daughters? Sometimes, but we expect that to be rare. And um, there is some evolutionary theory uh, that predicts under what conditions uh, males or females uh, might be more likely to be born, the so-called Trivers-Willard hypothesis. Uh, that suggests that because of the greater variance in reproductive success in males, and this should hold across all organisms, um, although there has been some research of this done anthropologically in humans, given the great ver greater variance in reproductive success in males than in females, uh, that parents in um, better condition, whatever that might mean for the particular situation which they find themselves in, environment, culture, time, etc., um, uh, should uh, be benefited by producing males uh, rather than females uh, because a, a higher quality male is more likely to outstrip the mean uh, reproductive success that he would otherwise obtain, whereas, um, whereas females are almost guaranteed to reproduce either way. Uh, reproduce either way and not at extraordinary numbers. So right. um, to, to put that in simpler terms, a really successful male might produce 30 offspring in a lifetime, an evolutionarily really successful uh, male and a female really successful as she may be is very unlikely to. There's a couple of exceptional cases, but um, but so there are two parts to the answer to this question. One, the unusual bias in sex ratio would be observed sometimes without any selection at all and you can calculate exactly how often by random you ought to see somebody, you know, who had five boys or five girls in yep. a row. Mm -hmm. The Trivers-Willard argument is that actually the individual is in some position to control what sex they produce and in some position to know something about the positioning in the world of the offspring that they will produce. And there may be an adjustment that changes it from the random expectation. But the thing I would caution you about is that even a random coin flip will produce unusual sequences of heads, right? unusual sequences of tails. And if you happen to catch an unusual sequence, it will feel like something must have happened here. Why does that person have all girls? Right. Um, but sometimes it just happens. Yeah. Sometimes it just happens. And you would, if it didn't, that would be evidence of somebody tinkering to make the world look more random yes. than random. That would be your evidence of God right there. Yeah. Yeah.